we're going to grow a population from 7.5 billion to 8.3 billion by 2030, to about 9.5 billion by 2050, and to about 11, 11.5 billion by 2100. So we're going to have 75, 80 million new mouths to feed each year. So we have to produce more food to feed 75, 80 million people that's being added to the world population. But we need to do it without destroying the planet. So agriculture today accounts for 25% of the world's greenhouse gas emissions. We account for 71% of the fresh water withdrawals. And we account for 70% of all the biodiversity loss in this world. We cannot continue to produce more food the way we have done it in the past. How do you transform your businesses for impact? So we discussed about the continuum on the left and the right of companies that start their life, like many of you in this room, with a social mission and a purpose in mind, and for-profit companies on the other hand of the spectrum, which is looking to focus on maximizing profits over the long term or building long-term shareholder value. And the question is, how do we transform our businesses for impact, whichever part of the spectrum you are on? We moved from a shareholder primacy model now to a purpose-driven model. Is if you're purpose-driven, does it necessarily have to come at the cost of profit? So in my company, in the current year, we will spend roughly $40 million on sustainability programs and initiatives, on building human capability and capacity in the company, and on our digitalization initiatives. I welcome you all to join in this journey of changing the world. Thank you.